Hello and welcome to the birthday gifts. So I'm shuffling six cards here and I'm going to lay them down and pick three of them. It will tell me which perspective to read first. Okay, so we're going to look at both the masculine and feminine perspective of the current situation and we'll see uh, how much emperor or empresses we get. So, so far we have two empress. So we will be looking at the masculine i'm sorry the feminine perspective first oh yeah all three are empress all three are empress okay so we didn't get any emperors and um we're going to look at the feminine perspective first and then we will look at the masculine perspective of the current situation that you are dealing with um gemini sun moon rising and venus Please give me the feminine perspective. I'm using the vice versa tarot. These cards are double-sided. And for sake of communication or articulating the message, I will say she when I'm referring to the feminine. And I will say he when I'm referring to the masculine. However, it is not gender specific. So just know whether or not you are the masculine or feminine in your situation and go with that side okay all right gemini sun moon rising or venus please give me the feminine perspective of the current situation that gemini is dealing with feminine perspective please Ooh, we got some cards that fell uh, feminine is trying to basically become more independent, become more independent and build something for herself, trying to find her sense of love for herself by building or rebuilding herself and everything that she owns, um, becoming self-made basically. That's where I see the feminine energy. Um, after going through a situation where she felt um, confused because of, it could have been mind games that the masculine was playing here. I, I do feel like someone was, the feminine was emotionally uh, manipulated for a lack of a different term. So basically what I'm saying is the masculine may have played with the feminine's mind. At least that's what the feminine feels. Okay. Um, make, making her feel confused. We got two more cards and yeah, an offer never coming in. I'm feeling like there was, the masculine was moving very slow. The feminine felt this. This is what the feminine felt. Like he never made an offer. This is Page of Cups. Never made an offer. Even though he was in a position to make it. I don't feel like the uh, feminine ever got the offer. So I'm getting someone who's independent, self-sufficient, this is where the feminine is trying to uh, rebuild herself to where she's not dependent on someone else to make her feel love, but finding self-love here. Okay. Um, yeah. And she's moving on. She's moving on here. Uh, Six of Swords. The feminine, basically the cup she was waiting for from the masculine she's deciding to move on uh, just to let you know feminine masculine is not done with you Oof, i hope that came out right okay um i'm feeling like he's gonna try to come in to do the work once you move on once you turn your back and you start filling your own cups i feel like this is when the masculine is gonna try to come in all right but um Feminines are trying to pick themselves back up. Almost like I'm hearing, I didn't give up on you. 
is what the feminine is telling her higher self. I didn't give up on you. And I'm sorry, I neglected you. Because there's a sense of guilt coming from the feminine that she neglected herself and she allowed herself to be taken advantage of. Uh, yeah. Five of Pentacles here. Uh, there is this uh, void of... <sighs> Feeling like she was let down. Feeling abandoned. Uh... But the, the fact that we started here is the feminine has picked herself up from these energies, moved away, took the cup that was never offered and just left. And now getting over this feeling of lack, now putting energy and effort into herself. And this is when the feminine feels that she's winning. This is when she starts getting the victory. Six of Wands. Uh, I'm getting some... The, the feminines uh, may be starting something new for themselves. After this situation, I feel like it's motivated the feminine, actually. Motivated the feminine. To use the pain that she's went through in this situation and transmute it to actually... Um, Become self-made. Maybe build a business. Um, yeah. The feminine is doing her thing. This was not easy. I, I could tell you that. Yeah. But the victory is coming here for the feminine. I see you being uh, celebrated by other people who's also been wounded just like you. So a lot of you are being used um, to share your experience with others who have also been you and you're going to have like an army of supporters of people who can actually grow from your story your story is useful for others okay yeah now you're starting to see the feminine is now starting to see um that the situation has left them okay Here's the deal. A lot of you feel very, very scarred from this situation. You're going to have to heal this. This was a part of a learning experience for you all. Let me see what your overall energy is. Yeah. The tough time is done with. It's over. This was a painful experience for the feminines. Painful. And I do see someone who's scarred. Um, but not in vain. Not in vain here. Okay. Just disappointed that they have to give up on something that a lot of energy and effort was put into. It just never blossomed. I do see a disappointment. Uh, some of you still kind of want to give it a try. Feminines. I, I feel like the feminines still kind of want to give it a try. Um, let me see. All right, so just know you're at a crossroads and the choice you make, you need to deal with the consequence here, two of wands. I do see that you um, you have the opportunity to do what you want. Make sure you choose the best position, the best um, decision, make the best decision for you because you can literally write your life from here. I feel like things are up in the air, though. Some of you are not sure whether or not you want to deal with this anymore. Um, all right, I'm just hearing some of you. Okay, feminines, you will not like the masculine's point of view. When I flip this, these cards to see the masculine, some of the feminines, you will not like it. I feel like the two of you had two separate lessons going on simultaneously. And coming together, just uh, it, it basically catapulted this lesson for both of you. They were a catalyst for you and you were a catalyst for them with your individual lessons. Um, because the, the King of Swords here. Uh, 
sorry, Queen of Swords, here you are. Yes, yeah, some of you have already cut this out. This is Queen of Swords. You, you're giving this person your back. Wow. This is the feminine's view. This is the masculine's view. Some of you, you're being cold to this and you turn your back on it. We'll get to the masculine's view. Some of y'all cut this person out. All right, so let me let me keep going. But I, I do see um, this is the past for some of y'all. This is your current energy and they want you to be here. Um, they want you to realize that you went through this to get you to where you are now. This was a part of your growth. And now you have, yeah, a new beginning. Uh, Y'all going to be making some money. That's That's basically what I'm seeing. A new beginning where your income, your stability, your foundation is stronger. This is what this lesson was about for the feminine. Rebuilding. You went through something that put you really, really down. It was difficult. But mm -mm, there's a new person coming. A lot of you, this is a new person. A new person coming in on their way to you. Knight of Cups. A new emotional offer. After you close this cycle, so a lot of you were just dealing with a, um, like a lesson to teach you. Uh, what not to do. What not to do when it comes to a relationship. Okay. That's, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to flip this to see what the masculine's point of view is. Oh. Yeah. They don't feel you anymore. Not a lot of you have given the masculine your back. Uh, you walked away and they see you doing good. They see you actually building something for yourself. Um, and they know that you're now you're different, like you're stronger, you're more independent. And those those mind games they were playing on you, those mind games they were playing on you, they know they wouldn't be able to get away with it now. It's like trying to like play some juggling act, but this time it won't be effective. Uh, your face is gone. You're no longer one of their options here. Um, let me turn these around here. Wow. Page of Cups. They want to make an offer. It's like they want to make an, um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This person regrets what they put you through. They regret not giving to you and leaving you out in the cold. This was the feminine's perspective. This is the masculine. The masculine regrets not giving to the feminine. It's like, what did I do? Wanting to make an offer, but not really confident in not knowing what they will encounter. Because again, I'm getting a cold energy where the feminine has turned her back on this. Uh, yeah, feminine has moved away. This is how the masculine feels. She just sees your back. You're gone, uh, feminines. Masculine feel like you've you've left, and um, they see you in a really good light, though. I could tell you that the masculine see the feminine in a good way. They're dealing with pride, though. This is the masculine's view. The masculine is dealing with pride and ego. Um, okay, so they feel like the loser in the situation. Okay. The 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 pain for the feminine turned into a victory is what the masculine is feeling. There's some regrets here, okay? There's uh missing you, okay? Uh yeah, they know that they were the cause of this building blowing up. This, They know that they were the cause as to why the tower came down. They're aware that this spark was them. Uh, the masculine is okay. And the masculine, wow, sits here feeling defeated. Still wanting to try. So there's still like this, like, Feeling from both people of wanting to try. 
that's what I'm getting. Both people want to try. Uh, but the masculine feels de defeated, defeated, almost like a lot was put in. Not really, not really ready to give up. Um, hmm, interesting. But giving up though, they're giving up. They don't think that they bear a chance with you, with the feminine. This is them actually, in the end, they're gonna turn their back on this. Um. I just feel like there's a very there's a strong coldness coming from the feminine and feminine is still healing. The feminine still has a lot of pain here. The and the feminine she heals as she rebuilds herself. This is her healing. Yeah. The the yeah, the masculine I'm getting the masculine really has no um chance. At least that's how the masculine feels. He feels like he has no chance. He comes as the page of pentacles, trying to make an offer, not knowing how to even approach the situation. Coming up a little bit like as if he has no power anymore. Because he's outused his power, it's ran out. It's no longer going to be effective. Mm, mm, mm. So... Uh, Rebuilding. Rebuilding. The, the masculine's gonna try to rebuild. He he has to here. The feminine has already rebuilt. Look, it's already beautiful, it's already blossoming. The masculine is still trying to has a plan to rebuild. I'm gonna clarify this. Let me see what he's trying to rebuild here. Okay definitely wants to rebuild thinking about it seven of uh, pentacles is at the bottom there yeah wanting a chance with you wanting you to come back six of cups someone from the past coming back uh yeah trying to <laughs> some of you may be dealing with earth energy wanting to rebuild with you from the past uh I feel like the masculine will reach out, though. When he reach out, it might be... Um, it might feel weird. Like, it's going to be uncomfortable, is what I'm getting. I'm getting a very uncomfortable feeling. Not knowing how to do it, so it might come out. Like, they're trying to do it in a way as if they're not doing it. If that makes sense. And that's going to immediately turn the feminine off. It's going to because it's it's going to seem like he's still trying to be sneaky, but that's because he don't know how to do it. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be like asking you some kind of trivial question to poke to check your temperature. Feminine, that's gonna be an immediate red flag that he still hasn't grown up. Okay, and that's why he stands here as a page. And um, honestly, that's because he still is a page. Because once, once the the masculine has actually put in the work, he's not going to be afraid to reach out. That's not going to be an issue. The fact that it's still an issue lets me know he still has some work to do. Letting go of pride, ego, um, having the strength to just approach the the matter in a more mature way. Yeah, even some of them will actually give up and just turn their back on it. But still wanting to rebuild, still wanting to redo this. Still, that's, they still want to come in and make an offer. Here, and um, the feminine has somebody new. The the masculine eventually will, will go away, will kind of like wither off. The emotion you feel for the masculine will eventually die down. Um, this is a tower that had to happen. I'm going to clarify this masculine 
on their way out because I feel like they're going to feel like they have no chance. A lot of the feminine has really rebuilt themselves in such a way where the masculine thinks that she's probably like too good for him. This is a part of the ego having to let go of pride. Some of you guys are dealing with a masculine who's insecure. Their security comes from what they have, how much they got in the bank, what they own. Um, and y'all are dealing with someone who is going to compare what you have to what they have. And a lot of the feminines feel really good right now, rebuilding. So he's feeling a sense of um, almost like he doesn't know you. You're not the same anymore. He's not going to be able to play those games anymore. Um, yeah. Trying to remain optimistic. <laughs> They're trying to fight for you. Um, some of them feel like you have your guard up. Yeah, they're, they're going to try to remain positive. Some of them are going to try to use the law of attraction to manifest you back. But it's going to take more work than that. They know this. It's going to take more work. They know this. And you're going to remind them if they don't. Uh, so that's what I got right now. That's what I got. Let me clarify the Queen of Swords since that's you all, Gemini. Uh, I'm getting, because this is here. I feel like it fell in reverse. I might pull another card because the fact that this is in reverse, Nine of Wands, it's really saying um, have faith. If you have a lot of stress around this, because uh, I feel some defensiveness. Some of you may feel like you need to protect yourself away from the situation. Um, is this advice for the masculine or the feminine? Give me a second. I feel like there was something that just came through. I need to know if it's masculine or feminine. Okay, masculine or feminine? Masculine. They're saying have faith to the masculine. Um, and don't give up. Some of the masculines are, are isolating themselves here. And I, I do feel that, though. It's almost like someone who's don't know what to do about the situation. Mm -hmm. Dealing with... The, they're in the healing process. Heartbreak. The masculine is going through a hard time right now. And um, it's almost like they need to be encouraged. So they're trying to remain positive. The advice is remain positive to the masculines. Um... Feminines, keep focusing on yourself. Honestly, they do not want this to be your main focus, this relationship. Uh, keep focusing on yourself. Keep rebuilding for yourself. If this is meant to be, it will be. But for now, keep on doing what you're doing. Okay? That's what I'm getting, guys. I'm not pulling any more cards. Uh, and there's no extended... Uh, the purpose of this is just so that you can see both sides here. And um, I'll see. I'll see if this is something I want to keep doing. Just let me know if you guys resonate in the comments. You know, let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Guys, I am offering a compatibility report. So it's just going to require the date of both, birth of both people. And we'll see what can actually help the connection. You know, uh, what parts of the connection is challenging, uh, what parts are easy. Uh, there's a sample and more information after this. So I'll leave it here. And I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. This is a sample of the compatibility report. And what this report does is it connects the energy of two individuals and explain what you experience when you are together.
So this basically tells you the areas that are easy and or challenging in the relationship. The compatibility report explains how your relationship will be experienced by both of you. So each of you separately, individually. It helps you understand and become more aware of the role the person is playing in your life. This report is not used only for romantic connections, but it can also be used for business partnerships and other relationship dynamics. So it would require the date of birth of each person. It'll let you know if you're dealing with a karmic relationship, if the connection is a past life connection. So it's specific and it's supposed to help you understand the role this person plays in your life. So if you are interested in one of these reports, the information is in the description box.